All right, what we got here is a 2013 Ford 650D. This is an um, actual ambulance conversion vehicle that's been converted uh, from an ambulance, ambulance uh, to a, a tow truck. And um, we will give it a 360. Some, most of the details are going to be in this video, but we'll also have them in the description. So uh, let's get started. So we've got uh, 161 true highway miles on this truck um, it's been fully converted by a reputable company that does these kind of stuff and here are some of the features we've got some um, side toolboxes they did add a hundred gallon um, diesel tank um, this one has dual wheel air air suspension if you can see that under there all right and then we've got um, spot for a fifth wheel two spots for a fifth wheel gooseneck and then we've got connections right there for safety and then we've also got a tailgate it did they did keep some of the uh options that it had with being ambulance such as like the horn some flashing lights and things like that but uh, most of it did come off there's another um addition toolbox battery section oh they added these steps that's what it was um but everything else pretty much is uh still the ambulance from the cab uh to the engine and we'll go over the engine specs as well again this is uh two owners Actually, one or two owners. Again, details will be inside the ad. 10-foot bed on this one. It does have an Allison 5 or 6. I can't remember which uh, transmission it has. I'll, I'll have that details in there, too. As I mentioned, new storage bins. 161 original highway miles. Cummins engine. This has no leaks. Uh, this truck here is 20,500 gross weight. And again, airbag suspensions, you can, you can hear the air brakes going there, that compressor's going off. Uh, but yeah, let's look at the inside and I'll also give you some spots, uh, some uh, coverage of the engine as well. This thing looks really good inside. That is the compressor. All right, so look at this. They never really drove this truck. They drove it enough to get the job done, but they end up needing a bigger truck. Here's a true shot of the miles right there, 161. But yeah, just look at it. Again, they kept some of the things, like some of the bells and whistles on the ambulance. It's been converted, as I said, so they added this window. The seats are the same. There are your gauges up top. And there are your gauges down there. I think that's for the power brakes for the trailer. But all around, good vehicle. The horn is the same that the ambulance would <laughs> use, and that thing's loud. Let's look at the engine. Here's some more specs real quick before I go to the engine. used to be white. You can pause this if you need to. All righty. Let's go over to the engine bay, and we'll wrap this one up. Then I'll start it up too and let you hear it. Cummins engine, as I said. This thing is clean. All fluids have been topped off. This, is, this was a fleet vehicle. So um, uh, it's been re regularly maintained. You can see some of the details here on the side uh, as far as the maintenance goes and everything. But again, this is a company that runs a lot of these trucks. And they did a good job of maintaining this one. I'm gonna try to reach my hand back there and get a video of the engine. You can pause that if you need to. I'll need to look at that myself. But that's a Cummins engine. And there we go. Paint it red, of course. I mentioned air suspension in the back, leafs in the front. Let's go on the other side and we'll crank it up. Pretty much a standard Cummins engine on this one. Um, that was the last time the air filter was replaced. Just just all around good truck. I mean, there's not much you can say about this one that it doesn't already say for itself. Um, there are those horns we just heard. But yeah, this thing is, uh, is good to go. Uh, it's a really nice truck if you want to add to your fleet to be able to pull things. It's got tons of power, obviously. Um, and it'll get from A to B and no problem. It's got that beefed up engine. Um, I want to say it still has the 
horsepower or maybe even more horsepower um, than it than it did as an ambulance truck. So anybody to get this, expect for it to have the power it needs um, and more. So again, this is 2012 Ford 650D. And I did promise you that we'll start it up and let you listen to it. Let's do that. Also wanted to mention on the tailgate, or well, the bed itself, uh, you can have these, these added to allow you to use it as a uh, extension. And those are on both sides. All right, here we go, let you hit the engine. Fires right up. I just drove it to where it is now. And uh, I mean, I think I was going about 70, 60, 70. And um, I drove it about, uh, well, it's across state. I mean, it wasn't far, but I drove it a good ways. I'm in North Carolina now. It was in, um, it was in Clover, South Carolina. She's buttoned up, and like I said, 2017 Ford 6050. Let me know if you're interested in this. Uh, we can actually deliver it if it's local. Um, of course, you can pick it up here in Charlotte, North Carolina. So hit me up, 980-729-4991. That's Troy Barzilla with Zillamates.